Jahren, nachdem ich mich schon mit dem Podcast zurückgemeldet hatte, wollte ich... Ich will hier an dieser Stelle sagen, dass ähm, aus meiner Sicht Europa, die Europäische Union, vor der größten Bewährungsprobe seit ihrer Gründung steht. Das ist unbenommen. Ich wäre aber auch eine schlechte Bundeskanzlerin oder wir wären eine schlechte Bundesregierung, wenn wir jetzt schon ein Datum nennen würden. Das können wir nicht. Wir haben erste Andeutungen, wie sich die Dinge entwickeln. Österreich war uns immer ein Stück voraus in den Dingen, aber wir müssen unsere eigenen Zahlen ansetzen. Und deshalb ist es auf jeden Fall jetzt nicht geraten, über ein Datum in Deutschland zu sprechen. La mortalité hospitalière depuis le 1er mars fait que nous déplorons 6494 décès à l'hôpital, soit 605 décès à l'hôpital de plus sur les 24 dernières heures. En EHPAD et en établissement médico-social, nous déplorons. Vous avez aussi des familles, rentrez à la maison. Attention, il ne faut pas reprocher à la police quoi que ce soit. On vous dit tout le monde va de rentrer à la maison. Tout le monde rentrer à la maison comme un bon citoyen qui se respecte. Combien en confinement total Ah, ok, ok. Ah, 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 ok
Florida blueberry season is underway. Workers are moving quickly to strip the bushes clean. But this year, farmers in Florida and the rest of the U.S. face a big problem. Seasonal foreign workers, mostly from Mexico, can't get to the fields, threatening the country's food and vegetable output. The State Department is processing H-2A visas for farm workers with reduced staffing. It has also scaled back activities at consulates, including some in Mexico, leaving some workers stuck, unable to secure visas. Now farmers face the challenge of getting workers to their fields when they need them. Dave Puglia, CEO of Western Growers Association. Uh, so, so far we've tested almost everyone uh, has completed the blood draw. Um, The respiratory disease caused by the novel coronavirus. The zoo's chief veterinarian said this is a unique case because the tiger became sick after exposure to an asymptomatic zoo employee. This is actually the first time that people have transmitted it to an animal and the animal has gotten sick. The veterinarian said the zoo did not know which employee infected the tiger. The virus that causes COVID-19 is believed to have spread from animals to humans, and a handful of animals have tested positive in Hong Kong. Nadia, the four-year-old Malayan tiger that tested positive, was screened for the COVID-19 disease after developing a dry cough along with three other tigers and three lions. What the keeper saw was these cats were coughing, some were wheezing, and when not... Well, since Sunday, the Prime Minister has been under the medical care of the team at St Thomas's Hospital after he was admitted with persistent coronavirus symptoms. 
during the course of this afternoon, the Prime Minister's condition worsened and on the advice of the medical team who has moved in to a critical care unit. So in light of those circumstances, the Prime Minister asked me as First Secretary to deputise for him where necessary in driving forward the government's plans to defeat coronavirus. And um, as you'll know, uh, we, he's been receiving excellent care at St Thomas's Hospital. And we'd like to take this opportunity as a government uh, to thank uh, NHS staff up and down the country for all of their dedication. <laughs> There shall be cessation of all movement by road, rail, or air in and out of A, the Nairobi metropolitan area, and B, the counties of Kilifi, Kwale, and Mombasa. <laughs> 